Tell me about this, uh, Amy. Tell me about the artwork. This is a growing, it's called Growing Wild. It's an installation that is a mural as well as an augmented reality um, collaboration between Julian and I. It explores um, urban and natural areas colliding um, together to create, uh, to ask questions about our future. You created one in the art gallery that was uh, oh, okay. very well received. Then it got painted over. Yes. <laughs> Nobody right. wanted that. So. Is this sort of a takeoff on that because of the, awesome. it was so well received? Yeah, I mean, that, that mural was the largest mural I've created yet. It was 50 feet long and it looped around three walls. It was an experiment for me. I'm just starting to get into mural work and large scale public art projects. Um, so I was taking a risk to kind of work directly on the wall. At the end of the day, it was a lot harder to paint over that mural than I expected. <laughs> um, so this time around, I'm working on aluminum composite panels. So they were able to be removed from the gallery walls and reinstalled um, at a new location, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, so, so this one is eight feet high, 12 feet wide, three, four by eight sheets. Um, so it can be transported just like any piece of plywood. Tell me about the, you were saying uh, different pieces, or not different pieces, so to speak, but different images are from different yeah. places around the world? It's inspired by our travels to different places um, around the world. So it's taking a uh, waterfall from Hawaii, uh, architecture from Chicago, burnt trees from Kootenay National Park, and uh, a melting glacier, Athabasca Glacier, and combining all those elements together into a single composition to make comments about our future. You're calling those, you know, imagined landscapes. Right. Something that, you know, doesn't exact doesn't exist as it is, but it, you know, it's 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 a different vision. Meaning behind it, tell about how it's interactive. Yeah, so so my portion of the project uh, is the augmented reality portion. So using using your phone, uh, you can load up from the QR code on the wall there um, and get and it's through Instagram. Augmented reality, um, yeah. Sorry, Instagram and Facebook, yeah. Um, and so then you can experience the sort of like three D sculpture that comes out from the painting, and it sort of is a digital extension of the of the artwork. Um, and so that has trees and moving water and like falling drips from the waterfall. Um, Becomes alive. Yeah, right. Sure. Yeah. It feels as though you're standing in flooded, yeah, and a flooded. The water is up to sort of like waist level. Yeah. <laughs> which is not good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How long will this be here? It'll be here for at least a year, hopefully more. You put something on it—a protective coating. You were saying? Yes, it's protected against the elements. It's been clear coated at an auto shop um, to protect it from UV. Um, yeah. You know, just all like, the things. Just like any car, right? Yeah. 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 And so helps. it can be washed and cleaned and um, protect. Yeah. yeah. So it's protected. Yeah.